Greetings folks, we're asking for your help here. If you've been following my YouTube series Murder on the Tracks, or read Myra Leverett's book The Boys on the Tracks, or visited the idfiles.com website, then you'll know that teenagers Kevin Ives and Don Henry were killed in 1987 and their bodies were placed on the railroad tracks in an attempt to conceal their murders. A cover-up has ensued ever since, and their murders officially remain unsolved to this day. The FBI began their investigation of the murders in December of 1993, and in December of 1997, award-winning author Mauro Leverett began official requests for documents pertaining to the boys' murders. A month later, in January of 1988, the FBI responded by telling her that they located no documents responsive to her request. Two and a half years later, in July of 2000, and with the help of Congressman Vic Snyder, the FBI finally admitted they had approximately 16,600 pages of documents relating to the murders of Kevin and Don. Of these, the FBI only released about 2,000 pages of documents to Mara Leverett and Linda Ives, and as you can see, heavily redacted documents. Efforts were again taken in 2012 and 2013 by Linda Ives and her lawyer, R. David Lewis, to get the documents released, and unredact the already released ones. But again, these efforts were dismissed. In 2016, they tried yet again to get the documents released. And in 2017, the FBI was dismissed from the case. And in 2019, the case was entirely dismissed. Again. So what are they hiding? Why does the murders of two teenage boys 35 years ago in Arkansas warrant tens of thousands of pages of federal investigation, not only by the FBI, but the CIA and DEA and others as well? and then has to be kept hidden and secret to this day? This is one of the many questions that Linda Ives, mother of victim Kevin Ives, and former prosecutor Gene Duffy have been putting forth for decades now. And despite the unfortunate passing of our fearless leader Linda Ives last year, the ID Files team, with the blessing and support of Linda's husband and Kevin's father, Larry Ives, is going to continue the fight to get the documents released. And here's where you can help, and really make a difference we set up a petition called Release the Documents for Kevin Ives and Don Henry, and we're asking you to help out and sign the petition. We're not asking for money, and there's no fees or anything like that, and you can sign the petition and have your name remain anonymous if you like. With enough support, we can take it to the next level and hopefully get some results, finally. And something else to keep in mind is that these documents belong to you, the American people. These are your documents. So please, make your voice heard and help make a difference. These documents should have been released a long time ago, 